a great deal has happened to Fortis Mining since it listed on the Australian Stock Exchange on December 15, 2010. It's almost hard to remember that Fortis's issue price was 20 cents a share. In just over six months, Fortis has achieved so much and shareholders have seen their share price rise substantially from its issue price and major announcements posted with the ASX concerning the company's exciting future. Fortis began life acquiring gold and base metals exploration grounds in the northeastern gold fields of Western Australia. But it soon became clear its focus was going to be on potash, especially in offshore projects. The two founders of the company, Frank Canavo and Jito Arulampalam, had a clear focus on creating a world-class mining company and didn't hesitate to pursue that vision. Fortis was able to secure significant strategic Hong Kong investment early in its listed life and then didn't look back. What set Fortis apart from the market was when it signed a heads of agreement to acquire 75% of Xi'an resources, which has the rights to significant potash assets and reserves in Kazakhstan. Let's hear from Jito Arulampalam, who is the executive chairman of Fortis Mining. Fortis has just begun an incredible journey. Let's be clear about Fortis's strategy. We are very clear in terms of positioning ourselves as one of the top five potash producers globally. Now, why do we believe that Fortis is going to get there? Number one, we are just in the process of finalizing the acquisition of two of the largest potash mines in the world. Number two, the mines are in Kazakhstan, right next door to the two of the largest potash consumers in the world, China and India. We also believe the fundamentals of potash are looking very attractive right now. The demand far outstrips the supply at the moment, and by completing this transaction, it clearly puts us in an elite group of 12 global producers. Fortis, as um, a company, had been working over the last three to four months, putting together the key elements of this whole play. The project, the team, the funding, and more importantly, going through the listing requirements uh, of getting prepared for a chapters one and two that transform a humble little gold and exploration, gold exploration company um, to be transformed into a potash miner. It is clear that Kazakhstan and the country's significant potash reserves are critical to the future of Fortis mining, which is why the company appointed globally recognized German potash experts, Erkosplan, to review the assets and take charge of the full due diligence on the projects secured by Fortis, including the Jork report. Erkos Plan has more than 50 years' experience in evaluating and planning potash projects around the world. Dr. Henry Rausch is the managing director and CEO of Erkos Plan. So Erkos Plan is actually a uh, potash consulting and engineering firm located in East Germany, and the roots of Erkos Plan are the former potash industry of East Germany. So that was more or less the reason why Fortis select a, a company which, uh, uh, which is first, uh, firstly um, uh, experienced in the potash industry and secondly also a bit uh, experienced in the, let's say, former Comic-Con world of the, of the raw materials. And uh, we, are cons we are hired from uh, Fortis to do, an, uh, let's say, a technical report about the resources in the both uh, areas, in the Shilyanskoy deposit and in the Sherka deposit. And uh, the next step for us is to do a review of the historical data available about these two mineral deposits. The next step will be a practical confirmation of this historical data by drilling and then we know really what's happened in the field. And uh, as soon we have this confirmation uh, by drilling, so then we can plan a further exploration to increase the resource base for the whole project. And that will be a second stage. And then we can start with the serious engineering work to find out how we mine out the, the ore deposit and how we go forward with the processing route. I would say it is a very good deposit, not only by the mineral resource itself, also by the location. This location is very attractive because it is close to the booming Chinese market. 
And from that point of view, it uh, is, is it a very uh, interesting, very exciting project. Throughout the growth and development of Fortis Mining, shareholder returns have been at the forefront of the company's development. Shareholders would have been delighted by the Australian Financial Review listing Fortis at the top performing IPO in its mid-year league tables review in 2011. Let's hear from Frank Canavo, who is the founder and executive director of Fortis Mining. Two years ago I had a vision, a vision to start a world-class mining company. Jitto, our alumni, had the same vision as me. So when we caught up together, we said it's time to build a, a world-class mining company based here in Melbourne. And after two years now, we're sitting here and, and uh, floated in December. An amazing journey, amazing journey. We're looking forward to an exciting time ahead with the team we've got, the shareholders, great support in Asia Pacific. And now it's time now to you know, really take it to the next level. The Fortis directors are working so hard to give, to actually maximise shareholders' value and we'll continue to work hard to give that value to our shareholders and we will look at other opportunities out there also to make this the world-class potash company.